Okay, so I need a blood transfusion, and I'm a little nervous. As far as I can figure, a blood transfusion does one thing. It gives me super strength, making me the greatest dodgeball player of all time. He's a one-man dodgeball army! Can we please play something else? Anything else? Okay, next time, I want to be on Kevin's team. But then, who's going to want to play dodgeball with me? Deep in space, at the headquarters of the Medikids. Don't worry, that isn't going to happen. Well, Pump, then I'd say I'm a little disappointed, but also a little relieved. Though I do have a question. What is going on? We're going to teach you what a blood transfusion really is and what it really does. And there's no better place to do that than on Mediland. Mediland? Totally. I was going to suggest Mediland. Psst. Abacus, what's Mediland? Celestial body designated Mediland is a planet that works and looks just like the human body. In the bloodstream. Welcome to the bloodstream. First thing you need to understand about blood transfusions is, well, blood. It's much busier than I imagined. Though in fairness, I don't imagine my bloodstream often. Blood carries nutrients and oxygen and delivers them throughout your body to keep you healthy. No, the blood is made up of a few different parts, each one having an important job to do. White blood cell. I'll protect you from germs. Red blood cell. I carry around oxygen. Platelets. I help you stop bleeding. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Blood is actually much cooler than I thought, but I still don't know why I need a blood transfusion. Well, a blood transfusion is a way to give your body blood when you need it. There are lots of reasons why you might need one. One of the main ones is to replace blood that is lost through a serious injury or during an operation. Possible reasons for a transfusion. Blood loss, bleeding disorders, anemia. Sometimes you might need to have a blood transfusion if you have an illness where your body cannot make enough of a certain part of your blood. Like the red blood cells that carry your oxygen. Okay, all of that sounds cool to me, but I do have one little question. Where does the blood for transfusions come from? Is there like a tooth fairy for blood? A blood fairy? No blood fairies, though that does sound like an awesome horror movie. Blood for a transfusion comes from a person called a blood donor. Donors are awesome people who choose to give some of their blood to help others who may need it. Or it could even be you. If you know you're going to be having surgery in the near future, blood can be taken from you, stored, and then used during the operation. Note the following blood transfusion facts. Fact 1. Donors are chosen very carefully to reduce the chance of passing on an infection. Also, it's important that their blood matches and is the right type for your blood and body. Fact 2. The donor's blood is collected using a needle and the blood is stored in a special plastic bag in a very special place called the blood bank. Fact 3. To make sure that the blood is safe to use, it is scanned for germs and diseases. I think we've seen what we needed to see here. Abacus, get us back to HQ. Initiating teleporter now. Bye, blood things. Uh, people? The cells? Thanks for everything. Back at MKHQ. Okay, so now I get what blood does and why I might need a transfusion, but how and where do I get one? Blood transfusions are usually done in a hospital or in a doctor's clinic. A nurse inserts a needle into your arm. This needle is attached to a narrow tube that is connected to a bag of blood. The blood flows along the tube and into your bloodstream. Note, you might feel a pinch when the needle pricks you. During the transfusion, the needle can be uncomfortable, but should not be painful. A blood transfusion usually just takes a short time. How long it takes depends on how much blood you need. Most times you can sit, eat, drink, and use the bathroom when you're having a transfusion. Sweet. That means I can play my games. I've got some levels of Candy Ninja that need crushing. The nurses and doctors will keep an eye on you for a short time after your transfusion to make sure you're okay and not having any problems. After that, you go home. You might feel sore for a few days where the needle pricked you, but that's all. You should be back to doing what you love in no time at all. I like the sound of that. 
Speaking of getting back to things, we should probably get you back home. Thanks, Medikids. I feel a lot better knowing what blood transfusions are, though I'm a little disappointed I won't get superpowers. Being healthy is the greatest superpower there is. Later, Kevin. Farewell, human designated as Kevin. I'm back. Kevin, there you are. I've been calling you. Are you ready? It's almost time to go get your blood transfusion. I'm more than ready. At the hospital. Looks like you're about done, Kevin. Really? Wow, that? The very next day. Wasn't bad at all. Told you. So what do you want to do now? Hmm. I'm feeling a little ganged up on here. Says the guy with super speed. You agree to Medikids versus kids. Everyone keep firing. Not fair! Abacus has a shield! Fall is fair in dodgeball and advanced robotics. <laughs>